All right, this is Second Thessalonians, Second uh, Thessalonians chapter one verse four. It says, "So that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure." Verse five, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the Most High for which ye also suffer. Verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay, before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahak, uh, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. I want to give a hearty shalom uh, and much love to the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so. In efforts of waking up the hopefully lack of the nation of Israel, which consists of one third of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America, um, and the Israelite foreigners, okay, that are um, that are scattered abroad, Shalom. Okay. And this lesson pretty much is uh titled Tit for Tat, okay. And that goes hand in hand with uh, the precept I just brought out in Second Thessalonians. Okay, I read that again, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay, and, that, and that, that, that's uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, um, as, a nation, as a nation of people, man, we've caught hell, okay, mainly because of our transgressions and our sins. Okay, but what happened was we were given over to the other nations as servants. Okay, it was never written down for us to get castrated. And um, uh, just mutilated by the other nations, okay? So in doing so, what has happened, the Heavenly Father has promised us that he will recompense, meaning to pay back, pay back those who have troubled us, okay? And then when you do the history, okay, when you, when you go into the history of the nation of Israel, all the nations have either had us in uh, uh, servitude, slavery, and or... Um, matter of fact, and all the nations had us in subjugation and um, basically uh, furthered our afflictions, man. OK, basically, when we were down, they kicked us, you know. So hey, by, uh, uh, by that action, the Heavenly Father says, hey, don't worry. Don't worry. I will pay them back, man. OK, and that goes into what, what, what this lesson is called tit for tat. OK. And now, you know, the Christians may, oh, well, uh, the Messiah said, turn the other cheek. OK, and that's the reason why they will use that in a scenario like this. Well, that means there's a contradiction because here it's saying that the most high is a, it's a righteous thing with the most high to pay back those that have troubled us. OK, but the Messiah said, turn the other cheek. OK. And the reason why is because they don't have the proper understanding. We are to turn the cheek to our brothers in the faith, okay, that we may go through quarrel, quarrels with, you know, okay? But that's that's a whole nother lesson. But the truth of the matter is somebody has to pay for what has been done to the nation of Israel, okay? And that somebody is all the nations, okay? And that's the God. That's a part of the gospel, the good news. The good news is the most high didn't let these people go unpunished, <laughs> okay? They got to pay for every last thing that they did to us. Because guess what? The truth of the matter is we've, we're we paying and we've paid for everything we've done to offend the Heavenly Father. Okay? So it's only right. It's only right. Okay? And I looked up that word uh, tit for tat. Okay? And, and ironically, it's in uh, the, uh, the uh, Webster Dictionary and it means an equivalent given in return as for an injury, retaliation in kind. Okay? So that goes hand in hand with the, with the, with the first precept, man. Read that again. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. OK, so in essence, the heavenly father is going tit for tat, man, with all the nations. OK, and then, like I say, that's that's great news, man. OK, why? Because they look at us with this disdain, you know, like you niggers, you know, look down upon us. And we know why now we, we understand. We always felt it and always saw it. OK, you're going in these gook stores and these. Uh, Elamite or Middle Eastern Indian stores and they look at you like you're the scum of the earth which in essence we are the off scum of the earth okay and the reason why is because we offended the Heavenly Father not because you nations are better than us okay but like I said like uh, uh, 
the scriptures say, you know, they pretty much put their foot on our necks when we were down. Okay. We were basically paying our punishment back to the heavenly father. Okay. But the heavenly father knew that the nations are lawless. They, they were never given the law. So they're not going to be just with you. Okay. Unless the heavenly father intervened like he did uh, in instances with uh, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar and, um, and our, who was that? Our King Darius, if I'm not mistaken, to let us go back and build the temple. Okay. But it, uh, uh, for the most part, man, the nations beat, beat the shit out of us, man. You know, just put plainly. And they, they got to pay. A day of reckoning is coming. Okay, and that's that's what keeps us motivated, man. Okay, because we're all about justice. Somebody has to be about justice. Okay, and, and people come against us. Oh well, you know, this, this, what's done is done. No, 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 no. If somebody come in your house and kill your child or kill your mom, you are gonna fight tooth and nail to find that your killer, find their killer. Okay, so that's the same thing we're doing. Okay, the most the scriptures say the Most High requires that which is past. Okay, and we're following in His likeness. Okay. Because the scriptures tell us to be perfect like he is. So that means we require justice. We want justice for what was done to us, man. Okay? And, and whether we want it or not, it doesn't matter. The Heavenly Father wants it. So it's going to be, it's going to, uh, it's going to take place. Okay? It's going to happen. This is, um, let me see. I started nine. Jeremiah 49 and nine. It says, if gate, gate, gatherers come to thee would they not leave some gleaning grapes if these by night they will destroy till they have enough verse 10 but i have made esau bear i have uncovered his secret pl uh, places and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not okay so there's pretty much a, a future recompense that's coming for the nation of esau which is our top adversary man okay and it's come the heavenly father is is uh basically uh categorizing him as a thief man okay and, and this is a rhetorical question if gate grape gatherers come to thee would they not leave some gleaning grapes and the answer when you're speaking about the so-called white man the esau the edomites the answer is no they ain't leaving shit for you man okay you know brother was uh we were uh, going over uh you know just some of the atrocities that the so-called white man has committed in the earth man and one of them was uh, one of the major ones is monsanto OK, and what they're doing to local farmers is uh, their seeds are, fl uh, 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 are flying into these other farmers, these local farmers, um, uh, you know, uh, lands or, 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 or pastures. OK, and uh, which is intentional, which they're allowing. And what they're doing is uh, going and saying, oh, look, these farmers are stealing our seeds. And what that what, what happens is they're, they're laying their seeds and it, be it becomes Monsanto. And eventually, they've done that so much to where they've taken over the market, man. Okay? Just one of millions of atrocities committed by this devil, man. Okay? Um, let me see. Okay, verse 11, it says, uh, Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let their uh, widows trust in me. Verse 12, For thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. OK. And what is that cup? Captivity, slavery, man. Bondage, rape, robbery, murder. OK. That, that's not what the Heavenly Father intended. He intended us to be servants. OK. Under the nations. But what do they do? They cut our rods off, feed our kids the alligators. OK. Burn down our temples. Take our goodly, uh, godly uh, 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 belongings. You know, and the list goes on and on. OK, so guess what? The Heavenly Father is going to go tit for tat with the nations, man. All the things that they've done to us is going to be done back to them, man. OK. For thus said the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Okay. So that same cup we had to drink. I mean, and we drunk every last bit of it, the dregs of it, and we're still drinking it. Okay. You devils are going to have to drink, man. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But yet you got two thirds of our people that say, ah, nah, 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 let it go. Let it. Nah. The most high is, is not letting it go. Okay. So basically you're at enmity with the heavenly father. If you don't feel that that should take place. Okay. But it's cool. It doesn't matter. It's all about the heavenly father, his son, and the elect, okay? Period, point blank. And and, uh, and the Bible says what it says, okay? Which is somebody has to pay 
for what was done to us. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14, chapter 1. It's like it, verse 1. It says, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay, so this is the end time prophecies. Once you know, once everything is fulfilled, the prophecies and we're set back in our land. Okay, verse two, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay? And that goes right hand in hand with, with the, the topic of the lesson. Tit for tat. Okay? We're going tit for tat, man. Whether you like it or not, whatever nation you are, okay? The Heavenly Father decreed it, so it's going to happen. Okay? And that's that's why our patience lies. Like the scripture says, the patience and the faith of the saints. It's in the Bible. <laughs> so it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen. And let's jump down to 21, you know? Um, uh, Isaiah 14 and 21 it says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities okay and that's specifically speaking about Esau the so called white man okay so basically Heavenly Father said look for the iniquity of your forefathers which are dead now okay which you know through the spirit we know through reincarnation are back right now okay because of their iniquities your children are going to have to pay for it. But the fact of the matter is you are your children, okay? Which just shows the perfection of the Heavenly Father and that nobody's going to escape judgment, man. Okay? It's just the beauty of the Heavenly Father, man. That's what we're waiting on, you know? And we can we can go on for days, days, showing that, look, the Heavenly Father's going to pay back, man. Okay? He pays us back, you know, and we're his chosen people, okay? And he did. He was not slack concerning his promise about us breaking those laws, statutes, and commandments. So how much more the heathen, man? Okay. Uh, let's see what we get. Zechariah. Uh, Zechariah 14 and 13. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from Yahweh shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. Okay, so this is speaking about the end times. Okay, when all hell breaks loose, Jacob's trouble, as the Bible calls it. Okay, when there's civil unrest, the economy collapses. Okay, and the life as you know it is changed drastically. Okay, speaking of a time that hasn't come yet. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, verse 14 and Judah. Also shall fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver, and apparel in great abundance. Okay, and why? Why? How does that play into tit for tat? Guess what? The other nation spoiled us. We were we were spoiled as a nation continually. Okay, why? Because of our sins, and that took away us sinning, took away our heads from the heavenly Father. Okay. And, in, and, and, and as a result, man, we were spoiled by the other nations, okay? So guess what? <laughs> Tip for tat. We're going to spoil the nations. And really, that's all they were doing, especially starting with the elite, because that's who has the world's riches right now, the elites of Esau, of Edom, okay? And really, they're just holding it for us, man. They're just holding it for us, and we're going to spoil them, like it says here in the scriptures, man, okay? This is what the Bible says. I'm going to read it again. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and apparel in great abundance. Okay. It's in the, the proof is in the pudding, man. And we can, like I said, we can go on and on. Proving that the Heavenly Father is going to fight for Jerusalem, man. And restore what was taken away from us. Okay. Why? Because the elect of the nation of Israel are turning back, turning back from their sins. Okay. That's what it boils down to. Okay. Get one more precept here. This is uh Jeremiah 30. And uh let's see where we go. Jeremiah uh, 30 and 23. It says, Behold, the whirlwind of Yahweh goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind, it shall fall, it shall fall with pain upon the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? So-called white man, Esau. Okay, verse 24, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it 
and until he had performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it. Okay, so this is the end time prophecy that we're waiting on that hasn't taken place yet. Okay. So lock your brother. Give me a second. Okay, so this is the end time prophecy that hasn't taken place yet. That we're rapidly waiting for. Okay. And that will take place. Okay. Um, so hey, Lord willing, that was at a fine. You know, I hit the point that hey, just just hold fast, brothers. We're gonna we're gonna get paid dirt. We're gonna get paid back, man. Hey, through the spirit and power, yeah. How about Shimmy Al Shah? Okay. So a Lord willing, that was at a fine with that. I want to say yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shah, by Shimbukakudash, the rock of thumb, shalom.